In the previous example of just sending the data to the third party system whenever we have it, consider that not every third party system is capable of handling what could potentially be a very high load of data. So a strategy we sometimes use, especially when dealing with legacy systems or mainframes, is that we periodically send the data. Instead of just sending the data one element at a time as we get it, Instead, another option is to batch those inputs or outputs together and then send them to the third party at some periodic interval. Something like we're only going to send you at most 50 events every hour or we're only going to send you a couple messages per hour. The idea is that there's some rate limitation around the third party that can't handle the actual transaction load. And the first option of dealing with this in periodic sending, we're having some other domain call our endpoint saying, hey, this is data that needs to go out to the third party domain. That endpoint writes that to some sort of queue or data persistence that we then have a polar pick up and then send out to the third party, assuming it's available. If it's not, no problem. We just pick up where we left off. The disadvantage of this approach is that it's really not event driven because we're taking and transforming that data and storing it in a database. We're not keeping track of the actual event we're wanting to send out in its raw form. We're transforming it into a database of some sort or data store of some sort. The next option is to do a more traditional event driven approach where we have an endpoint exposed to our third party domain that receives a call to it, a rest call. We take that information and we store it in its raw form on the event bus where we then have an application dedicated to reading that event bus and keeping track of a list of what needs to go out to it. And then we have yet another application, which is going to periodically run, look to see what data needs to be sent out to the third party. And then if the third party is up, send it. The advantage of option B over option A is that we've really broken up the problem into three independent applications, an endpoint for someone to call, an aggregator, for taking that data and representing it in a meaningful way with inside our domain. And then finally, a polling application responsible for taking the data and then sending it out to the third party when it becomes available. Another advantage of this design is that consider that you can't have the third party get impossibly behind. So an important error scenario to handle is in a case where you have a backlog of events you simply can't keep up, you can actually start making choices about, well, Maybe these events from three days ago aren't as important. Let's skip those and just start from current. In the final option, we have taken some of the logic and we've put it in the domain itself. Instead of the other domain having to call an endpoint, the other domain, when it needs to do this, just puts an event on the event bus. And since that event bus is shared, the idea is that we have some sort of aggregator in our third-party domain sit there and aggregate that data in the data store then relying on the polar to submit that data as needed. The big difference between option B and C is one is driven by a RESTful endpoint where the other is triggered directly off of the event bus.